on June the 1st, 1215, the city of Chengdu, known today as Beijing, fell to the Mongols. They looted the city, sending caravans loaded with luxuries back home. This victory over the Qin dynasty was to be one of Genghis Khan's greatest triumphs. After his death in 1227, his descendants continued the conquests, and his grandson, Batu Khan, had his eyes on the west. The Mongol raids of the 1220s had shown that the Rus lands held riches worth exploiting. The battles had devastated the Rus elite, and their defenses were weak. So Batu Khan organized an enormous invasion force, determined to turn the Rus lands into vassals of the Mongol Empire. The Mongols captured territory after territory. By 1240, they had their sights on the great city of Kiev. Kiev was a jewel among the Rus principalities, a center of scholarship, power, and wealth. Batu Khan's cousin Monka was put in command of the advance force, ready to attack. Chroniclers tell of Monka's admiration for the beauty of Kiev, so he was reluctant to destroy it. Monka sent his envoys to the city to demand its surrender, but Kiev's commander in charge refused and killed the Mongol envoys. Monka would not stand for such disrespect. His army rode to the city walls and prepared to attack. They would show Kiev no mercy. Welcome back to another episode of Age of Empires. I'm Jay from Jay and Ash Gaming and I'm on the mission The Siege of Kiev. Now, angered by Kiev's defiance, Mon Khan knew he must make an example of the proud city. Europe would hear of Kiev's mistake, paid for in blood and ash. Let's hit the play button and find out what this mission is about. Mon Khan's drive into the west brought the Mongol army to the splendid city of Kiev, the gateway to Europe. The Kievan commander had refused to surrender leaving Monke only one choice, to take the city by force. That animation is so good. Destroy the gate to Kiev, well I'm guessing. So why did they build them there, for a start? Yeah, that animation. Oh, I love it. And destroy them first. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't expect that. Build up, build up, pack away. <laughs> Eight of them in. A woman? What? There's more coming. Sorry guys, you're gonna get destroyed. Uh, 
boom in that one. That was a hit, obviously. Army broke through the gates of Kiev and marched on the city. Khan called on his people to bring in their mobile camp, while his forces secured a location for it. The immediate area beyond Kiev's main gate was lightly populated but rich in resources. Beyond lay three fortified districts, the outer city, the inner city, and a wealthy trade district. The Khan was determined to punish the defiance of Kiev and would not relent until the entire city fell to ash. Now that's right here. I'm playing it. The Mongols took out a Kievan supply convoy and claimed the resources for themselves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Right, so build it all here. Oh, what's it? Oh. The Mongols unpacked their camp, ready to continue their assault on Kiev. What's this? Oh, military. We've got villagers though, haven't we? These all villagers? Yeah. You build that. You fall get the food. And the rest of you. Um. Oh, 
Oh you guys, come on. Chop chop. Whoa, okay. Okay, there's an army there. Too close, man. Too close. Kill that, destroy that, destroy that. Then them. And that one. Unstoppable Mongol army leveled the trade district of Kiev, putting an end to any supplies they could send to the main city. You want them? Build some more of them. You. Archery. What are they? Oh, they're getting, uh. Yeah, they're getting them. Got to go down here, though, if I need it. And. Where's the leader? You lazy bag. Wow. Bloody hell. Uh, that was good. I like that. I'm gonna keep her there. Oh, 
Do it again. Watch this. Oh my god. Wow, I love that. That is awesome. You two stay back. We don't need you guys anymore. We don't need you. Alright, get you over here and then we're gonna attack again. So Oh my god, they're getting destroyed! I like the Mongols. Wow. Watch how quickly all of these are. One by one, they fall. Samurai or whatever. Oh, they might. Oh. Oh, 
Right, they're getting a bit, a bit destroyed, so... Now they're getting a bit destroyed. <laughs> Should we get me? Yeah, I've got loads of money. Resources. That laugh was funny. They're laughing, it's funny. them done. So, let's go get some more units. Oh. Uh. Big deck. Well, I think we got enough there. That is mental. The way that does that, I love, I love, I love it. Yeah, he's free. Oh, 
Well, go do something. Go, go build this. Here. villagers alone. Kill him. sure they're all stacked again. Um, go. Okay, we're ready. Send these in to destroy that. I'm hoping they get destroyed. Devastated the outer city. Why are they running? No, 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 no. Why are they running away? It's alright, because what we do then, if they're running away, you go destroy that. Right, let's 
Let's go. Literally stand them here, let them do whatever they want. Getting destroyed. See, he finds it funny. Wow. As the last buildings collapsed, the Mongol victory was complete. Kiev had fallen. Yeah, Kiev is mine. I'll have a chicken and Monka garlic. Khan and his Mongol warriors ran freely through the ravaged city, cutting down any survivors and plundering its riches. Survivors? With Kiev under Mongol control, the gateway to Europe was open and the empire could continue its conquest into the west. Boom, there we go. Yeah, I'll have a chicken, chicken and garlic here for that victory.